guest vocalist is one of the most well-known musicians and popular in classic R&B music. His unique falsetto voice and the melody he popularized are among the most well-known urban love songs in the most of the English-speaking world. His most memorable song is the wonderful tune that appears to touch everyone's souls as it floats through the airwaves or chums from fans' turntables. Eddie Holman is the focal point of today's video. Now, before we start, let's leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. Eddie Holman was born on June 3rd, 1946 in Norfolk, Virginia. Holman began his singing career at the age of 12. His career in show business began in 1954 when his family moved to New York. His mother introduced him to the piano, guitar, and performing arts while living in New York. Homer, like many vocalists, grew up in church and he sang in his church choir. As Homer's musical abilities developed, his one-of-a-kind abilities propelled him to win on New York's most difficult stage, the Apollo Theater on Amateur Night. He began going by the stage name, Little Eddie Homer at this time. Homer's choir boy persona grew in skill as a performer. His juvenile singing ability was even presented in front of audience at Carnegie Hall and the Off-Broadway Theater. In pursuit of creative independence and the opportunity to push his artistic limitations, Homer enrolled at the Harlem's famed Victoria School of Music to learn alongside other young talented singers while simultaneously appearing on the NBC broadcast, The Children's Hour, on a regular basis. During his teen years, his family relocated to Philadelphia where he attended Overbrook High School. Homer expanded his musical skills by attending Cheney State University where he earned a degree in music. Homer earned a deal with Leper Records while still in college and he released his debut song, What You Don't Know Won't Hurt You. For if you don't ask so many questions, I never, never have to lie. He began developing his signature style while singing in the Philadelphia soul scene. He had his first hit record by 1966 with the song, This Can't Be True. During the mid to late 60s, he released many singles such as, Am I a Loser? I love you. love you. What more can I say? I'll be there. I'll be there. Stop feeling love story. The sweet love story that is older than the sea. My minds keep telling me that I really love you. You're my lady. She's beautiful. Eddie's my name. The way I live gives me the chance to see a new person. Loss. And go get your own to name a few. Out taking other guys, girls away. What are you doing? But now I've settled down. During the early 70s, he released two more singles with Don't Stop Now. What dream was I dreaming, darling, when I found you? And Kathy Call. Kathy Everything. Homer finally scored a huge success with the cover song of Ruby and the Romantics, Hey There Lonely Boy. But 
with Homan's version being called Hey There Lonely Girl. version is the most well known really due to his falsetto voice and despondent melancholy and heavy hearted lyrics throughout his career Holman recorded for a variety of labels including as Scott Records Park Ray Records Leopard Records and Don Records his fame continued to decline after his biggest hit although he saw a brief rebound with his final two charted singles with This Will Be A Night To Remember. I wanna be your love doctor when your temperature begins to rise. And you made my life complete. A pleasure. Homer released many albums such as I Love You, which was released in 1969, A Night To Remember, which was released in 1977, United that was released in 1985 This Can't Be True that was released in 2003 Love Story that was released in 2008 and Loving You that was released in 2018 While his career was only getting started he recorded a series of successful records on his own gospel label named Agape Records Along with his own label he also owned his own publishing company Homan still plays in music halls all around the country. Homan has become a preacher and he's the father of three children. A.D. Homan is a once in a lifetime artist who created an outstanding sound and atmosphere that the audience embraced with sincere enthusiasm. Homan performs as a passionate melodic line followed by the woos that struck the crowd. Now, before we head up out of here, I have a question for you guys. What is your favorite song from Eddie Holman?